Hi, in this video, I'm going to do some mock revision for extended IGCSE maths. Um, these are just a few questions. I'm just going to tackle three at a time in each one, each one of these videos. Um, just questions that have cropped up in my lessons that might be useful for your revision. So the first one is this. Now, my class are quite used to doing cross multiplication, but if you look a bit more carefully at this, you know, this question's only worth two marks. You can see that looking at the denominators, I can see these numbers are sort of linking together. I've got five, 35, and seven. What would actually be easier than doing cross multiplication here is to make the denominators equal. And we do that by making all of the denominators equal to 35. So we'd have to multiply this fraction here by, I hope you agree, seven, and this one here by five. And if we do that, and uh, remember we times the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, 4c multiplied by 7 is 28c. And on the bottom, 7 times by 5 is 35. We Also, then we've still got this one because that's already over 35. And this one here, if I times it by 5, is 50 over 35. Now, what's quite nice at this point is that they're all over 35, which means that all the numerators um, we can just look at and, and just cancel out all those denominators by multiplying, basically multiplying everything by 35. Um, and what we end up with is this equation. So we end up with 28c minus 3c equals 50. Okay. And 28c's minus 3c's is equal to 25c. And you can see where we're going here for only two marks. Um, if you do 50 divided by 25 and you get c equal to 2. Okay. So that's quite nice. I enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, my class, their first instinct was to do cross multiplication. You can do it that way, but you do end up with some big numbers and that's the simplest way to do it. Okay, number two, um, this was another one that came up. So we've got two equations. What I quite like to do is call them equation one, equation two. And what I do is I'm looking, I'm probably not going to tackle the y's because the y's are fractions and it's uh, what I could do actually, but I'm just, my first instinct is to look at the 2x and the 6x. I'm probably going to times equation one by three so that I get another 6x, okay? So I'm gonna times everything in that first equation by three. So 2x times by three is 6x. I'm also gonna get um, three over two y, so three halves, three halves y equals one times three, which is three. And I'm going to put that alongside. So that's now equation three that I've got. Okay. And then if I maybe do, I'm just going to put, um, it doesn't really matter. I could do um, three take away two, perhaps. Let's go. All right. So let's take that, that equation that I've just got, 6x plus 3 over 2y equals 3. I've also got 6x minus 3 over 2y, which equals 21. OK, um, actually, come to think of it, it might be more sensible at this point to add them, because if I take away, I'm going to end up with fractions. If I add them, but these two things actually do have the same coefficient in front of y, don't they? But one's positive, one's negative, um, which would mean that if I add them up, if I add, they are actually going to cancel each other out. OK, one's positive, one's negative. If I add, okay, so I'm going to get 6x plus 6x, which equals 12x. Those things are going to cancel each other out. 3 over 2y, add a negative 3 over 2y is nothing. And then I get a nice 24 over here, which brings me to a really nice answer for x of 24 over 12, which is 2. So that's done. Okay, so I've got my nice answer for that one. And then if I need to find y now, all I need to do is sub x equals 2 into the nicest looking one, probably number one, okay, into equation one, let's say. So two times two, add a half of y equals one. Uh, that means that four plus a half of y equals one. If I take away four off both sides, I get half y is negative three, and double everything, I get y equals negative six. So that's my value of y. And you can put those things back in and check that they work. I'm pretty sure they do. And that's your three marks. Okay, so it's not the nicest. Because of the fractions, it's not the nicest simultaneous equations question I've ever seen. But there we go. Okay, so hopefully that's all right. And the third and final question um, is this one. Um, easily forgotten by students how to do this. So 
It says M is proportional, there's my proportionality sign to the cube of R, so that means R cubed. It doesn't say the inverse, it doesn't say inverse anywhere, so it's directly proportional. So I don't need to do one over or anything like that. It's just um, directly proportional there. And um, my next trick, okay, so step one is to write it with the proportionality sign. Step two, remember, is that the proportionality sign is replaced by equals K. All right, this is what I tell my class. So what I write then is that M, I replace that by equals K, equals K R cubed, okay? That's called the constant of proportionality. And the next thing I'm going to do in step three is to find K by substituting uh, given values. Now, you'll always be given values in the question, as I am. So I can see my second line of the question. It says, when R equals 3, M equals 21.6. The function of that is that you are supposed to substitute those in at step three and it'll allow, allow you to find the unknown k. So if m is 21.6 here, that's equal to k times 3 to the power 3. Um, I'm going to need my calculator in a minute. So um, k is going to be equal to 21.6 over 3 cubed, which I know is 27. Let's reach for my calculator. And 21.6 divided by 27 is 0 0.8. Okay, so I get 0 0.8. Now I know step four. Okay, so I'll do step four over here. Okay, write the equation. Sorry about the writing. <laughs> with K. All right, so then I'll just write this with the K in, which is 0 0.8. So it's M equals, I'll oh, stick to the colors, hang on, purple. M equals... 0.8 r cubed. Yep. And then I just answer the question. So step five, answer the question. So now I know I've got my equation. Find the value of m when r equals five. r equals five. So my m is going to be equal to 0 0.8. Put the five in, five cubed. Again, I'm going to need my calculator here. So 0 0.8 times by five cubed is 100, three marks. Okay, so that's the first revision um, video that I've done for mock exams for IGCSE maths. Hope you found that useful. I will aim to get some more out there. Okay, so there's three questions that cropped up today for my class and hopefully they were useful for you too.